All right, he says he's ready. I think you heard that, everybody. You are in the limelight with Clarissa Burton today, another extraordinary guest that I'm very, really, really, really uh, thrilled to have on because uh, Brian Kelly, a new good friend of mine, how'd you like that one? You're new, but you're good. All at the same time, right? He's the host of the Mind Body Business podcast, a mind body business show. And he gives everybody every week, weekly, always at five o'clock. I'm going to figure that one out. I don't know. Well, I'm going to talk to him about this late hour, buddy, because I get up early in the morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm an early riser. So this five o'clock thing, I got, we got to talk about that. But he does do a lovely show every week, bringing uh, entrepreneurs and coaches and all kinds of people that will give you really some, some really cool and awesome golden nuggets about business and, and the business that they're in. But Brian is doing something really, really cool with his show. And I wanted to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about his upcoming course that I'm really excited to be a part of. So welcome to the show. Welcome in the limelight. Thank you so much, Clarissa. I love that word, the limelight. The limelight. Yes. Don't you love it? I do too. I thought it was just really fitting and befitting for the people that I have on the show that, you know, most of the people, as you know, they either help you look good, feel good, be good, or live a greater good. And we do that through uh, the medium of television, podcast, and in my case, a digital magazine. And uh, I just love, I love, you know, I think in the limelight pretty much says it all, as does mind, body, business, because you, uh, once upon a time, or not too distant long ago, were a uh, personal trainer, a physical trainer. How do you call that? Yes, yeah, certified personal trainer, yes. There That's, you go. That is and, true. and you did that for a very long time. And then all of a sudden, one day you said, I think I want to do something else. What prompted that? <laughs> it, it's funny. It almost was kind of all of a sudden, uh, although it took uh, about a week or so to process. But it was interesting that, you know, and I always go into teaching mode when it comes to entrepreneurship is that, you know, listening to others is very, very um, valuable. And right. I, and it's specifically those that are closest to you that really care about you and love you and want the best for you. Mm -hmm. And I started getting a lot of uh, messages from different people at very strategic times, all close within maybe a week apart, a total. And one of them was my wife uh, who said, you know, you're always, anytime you start anything new of any degree, you immediately go in and automate the heck out of it. <laughs> and I know that you like doing that. I said, you're right, I do, but it's in the tech field. I don't want to do tech. And then another uh, show, a guest that came on my show, uh, because I was doing this show as well during the time I was doing the fitness. And they said that they said a similar thing. I said, look, your core competency is in automation and tech. And I was like, man, you know, they're all right. And more came. I, I just kept seeing signals. And, you know, I likened it to that movie with uh, Jim Carrey, uh, the God one. What was that called? Um, Bruce Almighty. And he's driving along and it's raining and he's destitute and he's holding rosary beads or something in his hand. And he said, okay, I give up, God. I'm all yours. Just show me a sign. And right, right. in front of it was a steak bed truck with all these signs hanging out saying, stop, go back, don't go any farther. And he didn't heed those signs and he ran into a telephone pole. And I said, well, I don't want to be him. I'm going to heed the signs. And I made the decision to switch. And I'll tell you, I love fitness. I love everything that there is to do with it. But I realized really quickly how much happier I was the instant I made that decision to move into where I really shine, and that's in the automation of businesses through websites and, and software and hardware. Right, right. And I have to say you're an absolute expert guru at automation because since the day you came into my life not too long ago, uh, I've been automated. <laughs> by, by Bruce Kelly and company. Let me tell you, there's stuff coming at me right and left. And it's really great because, you know, as entrepreneurs, we get real busy and these reminders that come in are like, yep, that's right. I got to, you know, I got to sign up for his show. Oh, that's right. Uh, he's got a podcast coming up soon. Oh, his show's coming on. Or, you know, in, in the case of uh, what happened last evening was the Facebook for your uh, private group for the moment, that is all about the course that I had mentioned before. So it really is really very helpful for the receiver, but I'm assuming even more so for you, as you know that everything is organized and you don't have to think about it again. I, I hope you're going to be teaching a little bit about what you know uh, to our listeners who are not as organized as you are. It's so, it's so funny you say as organized as me because I'm one of the least organized people on the yeah, planet. Yeah, you think? I and, don't think so. Well, the thing that automation does for me is to create 
um, you know, an automatic way of being organized. And so it helps me immensely because I'm not a, a very organized individual uh, just by nature. Uh, I really struggle at being a good organization uh, person, but with automation, I don't have to worry about it. And that, it came out of need more than anything, you know, running a show like you're doing right. uh, and doing a live show and bringing on guests and doing the pre-show setup and the post-show follow-up, the execution of the show itself, uh, putting together the graphics, everything that yeah. goes into the whole production, as you're well aware of being in yeah. the industry for so long, Clarissa, it takes an ungodly amount. Well, there are so amount. many moving parts, Brian. There, there are, are many. so many moving parts. And with that, there's so many areas for human error. Yeah. And when you automate it and you know set it up so that things are handled in the background by computers and software and services, Right. rather than you, uh, then everything goes much, much smoother. And right. um, it's just, it's been a godsend. I couldn't, I couldn't do my uh, live show on a weekly basis if I didn't have this in place. Yeah, without a doubt. And may I say, not only are there so many moving parts within the pre-production, the production and the post-production of what we do, but the moving parts in around the medium the industry itself, um, as you well know, since the minute you know you started creating the course that I've already mentioned three times and we'll get to, um, there have been quite a few changes that you are even having to keep up with as you're creating your course. So just to give everyone the an idea as to you know to be ahead of the curve, to be you know kind of in the know and in the right place, there's a lot there's a lot going on technically as well. You agree? Absolutely. Uh, and there's no way that's one of the reasons I did not want to make a tech, you know, my, my company's primary business be tech based right. because of what you just said, because tech never slows down. It never stops. It's always improving, which I like that right. but as a business who is putting together tech to teach people, others how to do the same thing. You have to stay on top of it. And mm -hmm. with all the different moving parts that are involved, that's a lot to take care of and manage and keep ahead of. And right. so I use the, the strategy of delegating. I brought on some, a team and I found ways to offload the things that are mundane that I mm -hmm. shouldn't be working on at all and going into those higher tech areas and then cultivate and train my team so that they can then eventually take over those duties as well. Ultimately, for what we do, Clarissa, we want to just be the talent. We just want to show up and yeah, start exactly. talking. Exactly. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. yeah. And, and it's okay to have these broadcast software and things that you control and switch. It's simple enough to do with one person. Even that would be nice to uh, scale up and have someone else take the controls. And all you have to do is concentrate on providing the value that yeah. your audience wants and deserves. Yeah. What a concept. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, what a concept. I do remember the days, and I don't know if I show you my office around and some of the different moments where I just had to show up on, on set and, and be ready uh, with my interview. Uh, the long gone are those days, but they're really kind of exciting times. I do want to get into uh, what's happening now as we move forward with tech um, and how, how gassed I get about, uh, about this because I love what I do. Everybody, we are in the limelight with Brian Kelly, Mind Body Business. Do not go away. Hey everybody, Clarissa here. I wanted to talk to you about audible.com and why. Well, you know, you can get countless amount of books on audio. Just listen to them. Who has the time? I don't to stop and read all the books that I want to read, but you know, I'm always in the car. I'm always traveling either from here to from Phoenix to Las Vegas or out to San Diego, LA. I've got plenty of time in the car that I can be listening and learning or listening and enjoying at the same time. So I've decided to affiliate with Audible. It's what I love to do is listen and learn. So why don't you do the same? And They've got it in different languages. So it's not just English. I know there's Spanish and other languages as well that you can go in and pick all kinds of different titles, all kinds of different books and listen to them. And for me, I again, love learning. It's the quickest way for me. It's the easiest way for me. It's the most affordable way for me. So go ahead, you can get a free trial. I'm gonna send you to clarissaburt.com slash audible. Go there now, you will not be sorry. Hello all, we are back in the limelight with Brian Kelly at Mind Body Business Show. You're going to want to, uh, follow, where can we follow you by the way? Where, let's, get every, let's get that out of the way so that everybody will know exactly how they can find you and follow the show. Get all the great information and, and advice at times that you're handing out. Yeah, the show itself has a website. It's called themindbodybusinessshow.com. Mm -hmm. um, parent company is Reach Your Peak 
www.ffllc.com, which includes links to the show and other things that we do. Uh, but Facebook is pr probably the best place to connect with me one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, my profile name is Brian Carl Kelly with a C. Brian Carl with C. Kelly right. with a K. Okay, that's um, good to know. So here's what's not so good to know. If you want to get on his show, you're probably looking at like 2023 because the guy's booked. Okay. He's got, he's a busy guy. He's got a lot going on, a lot to do. Uh, I think he says, Hey, Claire, you want to come on my show? Sure. No problem. When? Well, here's my calendar. Okay. So I went to the calendar. <laughs> uh, I think we finally booked it today. When am I on? February of 2020 or some darn thing. Yeah, February next year. You next year. kill February me, 13th. Brian. You're killing me. You're killing me. All right. <laughs> anyway, so let's just say I'm booked on the show. I hope I make it to February because. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get back to the technical part of all this. You know, after listening to the first segment, I'm kind of wondering if everybody's going, "Whoa! If there's that much to it, and it's that difficult. Maybe I shouldn't even try." What say you? Uh, that's a common response and without the proper guidance that that's often people just shy away from doing it all together uh, and what happened was over the course of doing the very show I've been doing for over a year is often after the show's over I do a debrief every single time with the guest um, we're not streaming live anymore we're just talking like you and I are now and uh, more often than not they would say Brian your show is different there's more quality I like it it's more professional uh, can you show me how to do what you do and I thought wow I'm always teaching and training, listen to the market, you know, do what they tell you they want. Don't do what you think they want because sure. you'll, you'll fail if you do what you think. Yep. And so that also played into my decision of switching over because I thought I'm a, I'm a fitness guy at this point. I don't have time. I don't have the bandwidth to now create a whole info product. Mm -hmm. and so I decided to do that. And so I'm putting together a very comprehensive program. Uh, it's in the works as I speak right now on the video uh, that will take any individual from A to Z, and I'm talking about any individual at any technology level of yeah. expertise, uh, because I have people like Clarissa involved in what I'm calling a beta test group. I have, uh, I'm going to have 10, I have about eight right now, and they, along with Car Clarissa, will give me great input on how to make it so easy that anybody can follow the directions and make it happen. Right. It's not going to be an instant fix, it's gonna take time. There are many steps and moving parts, Mm -hmm. But at least you will have someone who will hold you by the hand step by step by step. Right. And you can, you can literally put this together for yourself. And then I would highly recommend bringing in and delegating, uh, scaling your business, bringing in help, and then outsourcing the knowledge of that to your team right. so that you don't have to be stuck in the business if you're in that position. To do right. so. And so who's this course for? So, okay, uh, coaches, uh, podcasters, uh, give me an idea as to who the end user is. Is it somebody that's going to be like media is my life and that's all I do? Or is this an adjunct to what they already, to their core business? Great question. Yeah. Great question. All of the above, but really what, what the show has become for me personally is an unbelievable, uh, powerful lead magnet. Uh, uh, recently, I've gone to uh, events and I, I had stopped going to physical networking events or seminars for entrepreneur based uh, events. And twice on two different occasions, I was standing in those, you know, those circles that you get in at, at breaks during these events out in the hallway. And of course, at some point they turn to you. So what is it you do? Mm -hmm. And the first time it happened after I left the fitness industry, I'm like, wow, what am I going to say here? I don't even know what to say. So I just went straight into it. I said, well, I, uh, I host a live online television show where I interview successful entrepreneurs such as yourself. I stream live to nine different platforms uh, simultaneously. As I said that, at that moment, everyone in that little circle reached for their business card and thrust it forward toward me. <laughs> and that happened not once, but twice on two separate occasions. Yeah. The first time was with a group of all females. The second was all males. And I right. thought, okay, it's, it's singing right. to me. So right. you can use this. You know, we're always talking about building your platform for, as entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and that's to be known, liked and trusted. Um, and you need to be seen, you need exposure. Yeah. This is a perfect vehicle to do that, to get really massive is. exposure. And that's why I coined the name of the program carpet bomb marketing. And that's a term used from war days where, and this isn't uh, this is just a metaphor. So right. um, take it easy out there if you're going to get upset, but it's just a metaphor where you, you see a, a bomber flying over and dropping bombs 
And I like to say, kind of jokingly, much like you would see a rabbit running along, dropping their little poops. Right. Um, it's just saturating the I area. I think they call them pellets, Brian. <laughs> pellets. <laughs> rabbit pellets. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so the whole idea is to hit every possible avenue and, and nook and cranny of marketing that yeah. you can. It's difficult to do that manually. So I've set up an, a, a comprehensive uh, automation system that not only shows you how to shoot, uh, create and maintain your, your video, but how to repurpose that and get it on as many platforms as possible using a variety of proven techniques that I've been using over the past year. Let me start first by saying, though, um, we hear a lot about social media, social media, by the way, which is a full-time job in and of itself, but I, and that's a very important. It's very important, social media, but there's nothing like what I would like to call the traditional media, which is now almost non-traditional, if you will, because it's not regular broadcast, but it, uh, you know, as we grew up knowing it, but it's something really new and really, really exciting because it's yours and you can do with it what you want. And that's the part that I love the most is that I can have my own platform. Brian, you can speak to this. This is what you're teaching. This is what your course is about. Your own platform, your own way, your own branding, your own colors, your own logo. Like it just goes on and on and on. And I think that people, once they get comfortable with the idea, I think once you get the first one out the gate, you know, the little like show jittery thing, <laughs> man, this is one of the funnest darn things I can think of. I could sit here and do this all day long. What don't you, I mean, give me your thoughts on that. Absolutely, on many fronts. And, and what I like to promote or what I like to suggest is when people start a new show is to do what you're doing, uh, Clarissa, is an interview style show. Mm -hmm. So it's not just one talking head uh, throughout the entire video. Yeah. That is not as interesting as two people talking because mm -hmm. usually it's one opinion against nobody if it's a talking head. If yeah. it's two, then it's two people just talking. And that helps you if you are at all uh, a little bit hesitant to get on in front of a camera because it quickly, quickly becomes just a conversation between two people and it becomes natural and you yeah. will quickly lose the jitters. Uh, this has happened, I can't tell you how many times with many of my past guests that have come on the show came on saying, I'm so nervous. It's, you know what? We're going to have a lot of fun. It's just you and me. Just look at me. We're just going to talk. It, that's all it is. Yeah, Two exactly. entrepreneurs having a good time, just like you and I, Clarissa, were talking earlier today. It's the same exact thing. I don't thing. know. What do we pull? Like an hour and a half, I think we did. It's not <laughs> yeah. closer to two hours. And it's really, really cool because, um, again, as I had said before, there are, there are so much happening in this medium and there are so many different avenues and ways that you can go. What I love about you, and I think that you found in me as well, is that we're kind of really cutting it. Like we are right on top of what's happening in the moment. And um, there are one or two things that you've been able to, to, to enlighten me about. But for the most part, you know, this is a, this is a, con a continual uh, transformation, you know, much like you know, anything now we know, and you know, especially social media or, but this too is, which is why I think it's really important that, you know, people find you, that they follow you, that they, they, they get your course. And the cool thing about your course is it's not yesterday's news. You know, you're giving them like actual, like what's happening today. Now it's not ready yet. It's not out yet. And you're going to let us know when that will be. But that's what I really love about you is that you're so, you know, ahead of the, the curve that people must feel comfortable about working with you. Yeah, you have to be. Uh, I've been involved in other, as a, as a client, uh, training programs where it's technology based and they are suffering the very fate that I didn't want to, which was technology was moving beyond uh, and they had certain things they were training that absolutely don't work anymore. And primarily due to the fact that social media platforms are continually changing their underlying algorithms and their rules and they start blocking things. And so that it's an, that's something that you always have to stay out in front of. So if you're looking to get into a tech type of a mm -hmm. business or you have one already, then, right. you know, getting help is of paramount importance. And that is, you know, delegating, whether you get apprentices or employees, uh, but help is absolutely imperative. <laughs> so no pressure. Okay. <laughs> but when might we see this fabulous course that we've been talking about? I don't want to give away the name and I, I don't want, unless you do, oh, unless you want to say, I, or you may have already, did you say the name already? Yeah, I let it out. Yeah, the carpet. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Yes, you did. I forgot that part. I'm trying to do a million things here. I'm trying to go up with intelligent questions and things, you know. Um, <laughs> so, uh, okay. But when? 
I am very, I am so determined to get this thing done. I had no idea what was in front of me when I started this because the thing is when you do something that is more natural to you than it just, it came naturally to me. I love to do automation. I'm a software engineer by trade going back many years. It just is something I, I just jump in and go. And now to come back and look at everything that I had done and built and I'm using currently and to train it, I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to, I know I need to put a lot of detail in it so that those that it doesn't come automatic to won't have to worry about coming back to support, uh, asking for support issues and things like that. So I am, I am just determined to get this done before the year is over. Uh, it's, there's a lot more left to do. There's a lot of video shooting, editing, a lot of moving parts with that by itself, but it is my number one priority right, uh, right now. I continue to do my show every week. That's sprinkled in there. Uh, because I'm committed to that. I've got guests lined up through February of next year, as you yes, know. Yes, we know. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's a great problem to have, but I can also <laughs> show everyone that goes through this course exactly how to do just what I did and book and have, I don't have to worry about booking guests right now. I mean, I still accept them, as you know, Clarissa, right. and I will still, you know, out right. to the end of next year. I don't, it right. doesn't matter to me. Um, you just, you set up a system and it starts working. Uh, I have people coming to me automatically. I rarely ever reach out and look for guests to come on my show anymore. Right, right. It's all become an automated, uh, the whole thing's been automated. It's been yeah. amazing. And the really cool thing about this, I think anyway, and I'll, you know, I can speak for myself and maybe for many others is that it never gets old. It's always a blast. It's always so much fun. Yeah. yeah. I got to tell you the, the relationships I've built, I, you know, most of the, most of my guests I've never met before. In fact, until 30 minutes prior to the show going live. Yeah. And that's a testimony to the sources, what I'm using to get the guests from that are coming right. in and asking to be part of the show. And that's all that, part of the course. I know absolutely. that you, you do of that course, in the course yeah. as well, right? How to find the guests. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, the, the show itself isn't actually the most important part of it, the live video show. It's just the beginning port part. And after it's over, now you get to repurpose it into so many different formats, including podcasts. After the show is done, you know, streaming live to multiple platforms. Mm -hmm. It's also recorded on YouTube. It's also being uploaded to a transcription service so I can make book time of it. It's also going to 15 podcasting platforms. Yep. Um, it's going all over. It's also going to Roku and Amazon Fire TV, On Demand TV, getting massive views there. It's been phenomenal. And all and in of my that case, thing. it goes to a digital magazine also. And you also, you could repurpose easily. I was thinking, I was thumbing through your magazine earlier today, uh, Clarissa. It's, it's a Bomb. It's awesome. Thank you. I Thank love you. it. That's it's only so the second one. The third one is going to be even better. Each one. And that's another <laughs> part of media I, I, you know, that I'm learning. It's my first time, right? Digital magazine. Whoever did that, not me. But now I am. And, and, and this is how I just can't tell you how excited I am about this, these, this medium. I mean, the medium of media is I, what I absolutely adore. I particularly loved how you segmented it and organized it into your four pillars, the look good, feel good, <laughs> be good, and greater good. I noticed that as I'm thumbing through, I saw the color change, everything. I'm like, this is well, well done. Thank I love it. Thank you very it. much. You're going to be in be good. All right. You must Do I something. have to? <laughs> well, you, well, you look good. And I'm sure you feel good, but your course really is in be good. You know okay. what I mean? That like, goes into the be good section. Be good is, is business and finance and relationships gotcha. and that sort of thing. I, just so I hope fun. you don't mind. You'll be in there. <laughs> All right, you. Okay, that's it, man. We went past our 20 minutes and then some, but I could be, you know, we could chat the two of us all darn day about stuff like this because that's how passionate and excited we are about what we do. Everybody again, uh, what is it? BrianKelly.com. You can find, is that right? BrianKelly.com? BrianCarlKelly.com? Oh, that's Facebook. Uh, Brian Facebook. Carl Kelly is the username. There you go. Yeah, okay. or ReachYourPeakLLC.com is the other main one to go to. Okay. And when the course is ready, obviously you're going to let everybody know. So if they're following you, they're going to be the first to find out. That is correct. Awesome. Well, listen, buddy, it's been lovely talking to you. I'll speak to you next year. I think we, we got another six months or so. Um, I, 
It's not like I didn't try. All right. Anyway, so um, we will be, we'll be chatting again long before that. I'm joking. I jest, you know, I jest, <laughs> but we will go back in touch long before that. Um, love working with you. Love the collaboration with you. I'm really excited for you and for your course to come out so that everybody else can be doing something very similar to what you and I are already doing. All right, everybody. That was Brian Kelly in the limelight. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and do all those lovely things. And we will see you again very soon in the next episode of In the Limelight. Bye for now.